are you guys going from this arc here welcome back to another video from speed later video and in this one i'll be talking about why beast Swarm does not update so i'm sure a lot of you who play beast Swarm notice that beast Swarm rarely ever gets updates and that is very disappointing in any game that like you know anyone plays uh, because there's like no new content, there's no new things uh, to do inside the game, and it gets boring, and the game slowly loses players. But yeah, so in this video, I'll be talking about why B Swarm does not update, and my opinions on how on it should handle his update schedule or whatever. But yeah, so if you guys do end up enjoying this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe with post notifications on. Really, this helps support my channel, and I'm trying to hit 25k by the end of September. So if you guys want to help me out with that, make sure you subscribe. It's free. But yeah, let's get right into it. So in my video, videos I talk about how Beast Swarm does not receive any content updates and how that is very disappointing. So as an endgame player, it is very disappointing just uh, doing the same thing over and over inside of Beast Swarm. Like there are no new quest lines. I just have the same five or six quests. I have the Black Bear, Polar Bear, Brown Bear, Bucko Bee, Riley Bee, and the Honey Bee quest. So yeah, so it is very disappointing as a very active player inside of Beast Swarm to not have anything new to do. And I talked about how Ana is a solo developer and you should just give him time to update the game. But at this point, it's getting kind of like ridiculous how there is no new update in forever. So a lot of people have been complaining inside of like the Beast Swarm Discord or just asking when Alna is going to update the game. And most people just have patience, but you know, it's kind of getting uh, very boring to play this game and I don't know. I really don't have the same uh, motivation to just wake up every day and just hop on the game like I used to a couple months ago. Because I basically have done everything inside the game. I have like most of my bees up to level 17, which is like a very high level. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people don't have it to level 17. Uh, I'm just losing motivation to play this game overall. And I'm sure Ana like knows that a lot of people are going to start quitting soon. And then that's not good for him because, you know, more less players equals less money. <laughs> But yeah, so people are saying that Onnit has quit on Beast Swarm completely, like that he's making a new game, and I am sure that is not true. Like maybe uh, Onnit has just like been tired of updating or like just working on updates, but I'm sure he has not completely quit on Beast Swarm. Like I'm sure Beast Swarm is eventually gonna get an update. Maybe I think the latest update that we're gonna get is Beastmas, and hopefully there's gonna be more content updates during like summer, or, like a Valentine's Day update, like we received previous Valentine's Day. And if I go on Onnit's profile. So while I'm recording this video, it is currently 6 p.m. for me, and it says that Onnit has been online 7 hours ago, so you know, Onnit is still like sh logging on to Beastworm sometime. So on Onnit has not quit logging on to Roblox, and a lot of people are saying that he's been like offline for months. Well, that is not true. I have a Roblox extension that tells me when the people were last online. And yeah, right there, it tells me that Onnit has been online 7 hours ago at the time that I'm recording this video. And then the second thing, so people are saying that Ana is making a new game and like that he's quitting on Beak Swarm completely. And once again, I don't think this is true because Ana is probably making like bank off Beak Swarm. Like, because there's just so much uh, pay to win stuff inside the game. Obviously, it's not like a pay to win simulator where you can just buy infinite backpack storage for like uh, the best tool in the game. Uh, but Beast Swarm does have a lot of things that give you a huge advantage, like Bear Bee, for example, the Cub Buddy, which costs two thousand tickets and very hard to get. And then uh, you have Mythic Eggs, Star Eggs, stuff like that. And luckily, on it does like you know understand that people just spend so much money on the game if he didn't limit the eggs, and it would just be unfair. So he did limit the Star Eggs to five per player, and then the Mythic Eggs for three per player. But yeah, so I am sure on is making hella bank off Beast Swarm and. That is like one reason I am highly sure that he will not quit on Beast Swarm anytime soon. And then inside of Beast Swarm, uh, I do see a lot of problems that could be easily fixed and that would be really nice. And then another thing that would be really nice. So when you first spawn into the game, you spawn right here, like in this middle like tile thing on the spawn point. And then you just have a red arrow pointing to all of the hives that are available. And one thing that I would really like is for the red arrows to be gone or just like have an option to remove them. So one it would be really nice because it's like really annoying. And like in the way of me for example like when i'm trying to make a thumbnail or if i'm trying to do like an event or like an intro where uh, i don't want my bees just blocking my view like right here if i'm trying to take a screenshot for a thumbnail it would not be nice if like all the tokens were covering like my face so some option to remove that red arrow so i don't have to like manually blur it out would be really nice and then for events it would be really nice if i'm doing like a hide and seek event on live stream or just like some 
uh, event for Robux or something in my Discord. It would be really nice if I didn't have to like look at a red arrow every time I like jump or whatever. And then something else that would be insanely nice is hiding other people's hives and bees. So when I'm boosting, for example, and there's like uh, four hives claimed, the game lags so much. Like it's not ping lag or not FPS lag, but it's just server lag. It's something you can't really fix with anything. You can't like get better Wi-Fi for it. It's just the server lags so much because of all the bees and all the tokens on the ground. So it'd be insanely nice if you can hide other people's bees. And then I don't know. This is just something that I thought of. I don't know why. I I've just been thinking of this for like a couple months now. So this would be a really interesting idea if you could battle people with your bees so if you could get like a pokemon battle or whatever i have no idea how that works i don't play the game myself but if you could get like two players to battle inside like s some ant challenge looking arena that would be really fun and you'd get prizes if you win or like if you could put items online like tickets and stuff or like maybe like eggs or something that would be really cool and obviously uh people might abuse it by like giving themselves star eggs from alt accounts so maybe ban giving yourself like eggs and stuff maybe unobtainable items like festive beans and stuff but yeah so something like that would be insanely nice and then another thing improved rng would be the best thing that could have ever came to be swarm so the most rng thing in my opinion inside the game is the ssa so the supreme star amulet has passives and it's a 1 in 50 chance to get a double passive and it is very hard to get it. It takes multiple trillions of honey to get it. And a lot of people just spend trillions of honey uh, just to not get anything good and not get a good double passive for the hive color they want. And they just end up quitting because of that, just because of how demotivated they are. Because just imagine the grinding for something for multiple months and not getting it just because your RNG or like your luck inside the game is bad. So I got pretty lucky getting my double passive. I got gummy saw at the moment. So it only took me about like three or two months to get it. In my opinion, that's not too long to get a, a good double passive and also get a good hive going. But yeah, so some improved RNG would be really nice. And then I think Onnit said that in the next update, uh, when he does release it, there's gonna be like a, a guaranteed uh, double passive after I think 50 rolls. Currently it's a 1 in 50 chance to get a double passive, but that doesn't guarantee you a double passive every 50 rolls. It's just a 1 in 50 chance. I think it's gonna be a guaranteed uh, double passive uh, for every 50 rolls. So yeah, that would be very great. And then something that Onnit said he's gonna do is nerf jelly beans. So, in my opinion, like, why would you nerf jelly beans? Like, they're so useful, they're so good. Maybe it's because, like, uh, your boosts heavily rely on jelly beans. Like, if you're a white hive boosting, your boost really does depend on j your jelly bean luck because you're not gonna make any honey for your gummy stars if you don't get any rare jelly beans. So yeah, your jelly beans basically make the whole boost. So it would be really nice if there was some replacement uh, for, like, no RNG boosting, but I don't know. I feel like RNG and jelly beans makes the game fun. Like, the SSA RNG is incredibly stupid and incredibly, like, hard to get. Well, I guess jelly bean luck is, it's like a 50-50 whether you get good jelly beans or not. And then, another thing, give my boy Ria's his code, you know, for the 2 quadrillion honey. Because I've talked to him in DMs many times, he's, he's been grinding, basically boosting twice per day, every day for the past couple months. And he still has not received this 2 quadrillion honey code. Like, come on, give him a code, please. And then he also has like 500 days playtime, so you know, also give him a code for that. Nothing much, you know, 500 days, that's only like how much, like, uh, 8,000 hours on Beast Swarm. Alright, so if you guys didn't end up enjoying this video or like just enjoyed listening to me talking about Beast Swarm for like the past couple of minutes, make sure you drop a like and sub with post notices on. It really does help support my channel, and once again, trying to hit 25k by the end of September. So, you know, just subscribe, it's free, it really does help me out. But yeah, I'll see you on my Discord. It's the first link in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.